Kenichi Iga spent much of his career at or near the Tokyo Institute of Technology. He had his eye on that school even as a boy in his home state of Hiroshima. I was the so-called radio boy, manufacturing the uh, radio set by gathering the parts by parts and uh, make the radio. I was interested in the science and technology. The year was early 1960, and very new things appeared at that time. Lasers, semiconductors, and transistors. Iga earned a bachelor's degree, then a doctorate of engineering in 1968. He became faculty, directed a lab, and led one of its research centers until 2001. He ended up developing several fundamental technologies underlying the internet and digital technologies, including high-speed, low-power laser and arrays of small lasers. His early work combined theory and experiment. I was not satisfied with the existing semiconductor lasers. At the time, edge-emitting lasers were manufactured individually, the way individual transistors once were. A bar of semiconductor crystal was cut, processed, and tested one by one. Then, in 1977... One time, at night, I was uh, dreaming something. The idea of the surface emitting laser appeared suddenly in my mind. At that time, I was placing my research notebook in bed, so I made the sketch of idea in my notebook. It was a radical new approach, a geometry never tried before to produce laser light. Iga dreamed of vast arrays of integrated light circuits produced and tested on semiconductor wafers, like integrated electronic circuits. But the semiconductor laser community was skeptical. In 1979, Iga demonstrated the first vertical cavity surface emitting laser, or VIXEL. For a decade after that, he pushed to develop surface-emitting lasers. Few people believed in his technology. His graduate school advisor and lifelong mentor, Professor Suimatsu, encouraged him. He has too many ideas. So I advise him to concentrate to make one thing, practice of the big cell. Iga listened. In 1988, he made the first commercially viable version. Other researchers began to join in. And by the mid-1990s, Vixels had become commodity products due to their inherent low cost, low power, and small size. They are now ubiquitous, lighting up this computer mouse and propelling data through computer networks and server farms. In 2001, he became executive director of the $4 billion Japan Society for the Promotion of Science, which is equivalent to the U.S. National Science Foundation. Six years later, he returned to the Tokyo Institute of Technology as its president. I thought the important thing for the University Tokyo Institute of Technology is to make a new version of the manufacturing. Iga insisted that students learn professional skills and culture, just as he did. He picked up the double bass as an undergraduate. He believes that satisfaction is not always a good thing. As a scientist or uh, engineers, we are looking for new innovations. Every time the innovation should overcome the problems in the world, energy problem, food problem, life problem, and information problems. So I am saying the unsatisfaction is the mother of invention. Kenichi Iga received the 2013 Bauer Award and Prize for Achievement in Science.